look at what Eric sent us. We're going to talk about this in just a few minutes. Stay with us. My name is Lou White. I'm with Torah Institute on the Torah Institute channel on, on YouTube. Hope you like and share this and click on the little bell when we get new videos to upload. I got this letter, actually a folder I want to share with you today from a brother named, he's a young man named Eric. And he sent something to me that just blew Phyllis and I away. But first I want to read this to you because it's kind of like the rock that we trust in. Psalm 1914. This is one translation of the words. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahuwah, my rock and my redeemer. Well, he's our foundation. And Eric, our brother Eric, shared something with us that caused the meditation to occur in our heart. I don't know if it'll appear in your heart or thoughts or not, but that's what our heart is. It's our thoughts, our thinking patterns. The tetragrammaton, now that's a, a Greek term. It, tetra means four. Grammaton means letters. This name is very important. And when you discover it, and you do the research and you test your teachers, you'll find something very interesting. He says, this is my name forever. And Yahusha embodies the name of Yahuwah. It has a suffix on it that means deliverer. What does Yahuwah mean? Yahuwah means I was, I am, and I will be. We live in the present tense. We don't live in the past or the future, but he does. His name means that. He's eternal. <laughs> That's why you see it under the definitions of his name. We live in the present only. If we remove our life in the present, then there's no future. <laughs> anyway, this, uh, this article is, is one of many, many articles that you can download and print on one piece of paper. See, this is a four-page tract and it's a study. These, these are, they are all like in this format. And if you've got a, a subject that you'd like to discover, you can just go to torazone.net and find the free PDF downloads. And there's so many of them. There's at least five dozen. And these, these are an amazing way to quickly learn the will of Yahuwah. Things like this are adopted pagan festivals. Christmas, the bunny rabbit thing. What Yahusha's yoke is, though, is very light. You don't have to do all that. In fact, it's an abomination to him if you do. If someone told you, well, we don't have to obey anymore, because his love is unconditional, you better check that out, because he's not unconditional. He's got these rules. You have to learn how to love him and love your neighbor. And there's only one way to do that, and that's to allow him to write a love for the Ten Commandments upon your heart, your thoughts. Accept them and practice his commandments. And you'll discover in his commandments two main things, his name and his word fumbling around here. Oh yeah, there it is. This is the name of the Tetragrammaton, the four letters. And what it does is it starts, it starts over here because it reads from our right to our left. This is a, a Yod and a He and an Ua. That's a U. It's the Epsilon in Greek and it became our letter U. And this is another He. Yahuwah. 
there's there's Yah. Yahoo, like in Nathan Yahoo. See, we've got three letters Yod, He, Ua, Yahoo, and you hear the He at the end. They're all vowels, these are not consonants. Yahua. I was doing a study this morning and I shared it on Facebook. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there it is. If you were to vocalize the name of Yahuwah, the first word in Psalm 150, verse 6, is cool. They usually see it as coal. Like the, that, that's a, the voice. It can mean voice, but it can also mean to vocalize. It can be a noun or a verb. To vocalize the breath, to praise Yah. Hallelujah. And that's the whole sixth verse of Psalm 150. Vocalize. That's cool. Uh, that's the word cool in Hebrew. They usually see it as kol. And then the breath is ha-nefesh. Ha-nefesh. And then to praise is halel. And that's uh, to praise is to hollow. Two is just a, two, a single letter. And Yah is Yod He. We showed it to you here. See? Anyway, that's Psalm 150, verse 6. Now let's, uh, let's get down to this uh, letter that he sent us. He sent it, this folder. This folder, I opened it up, and inside was a little, woo, a little picture. A little picture of him. He's a young man. And uh, out fell these little pages. Uh, explanation of how he woke up to explain to people that evolution is a lie. And I want to show you this. He sent this too. What is this? A lot of people know this as, it's real heavy. It feels like it's a solid square cubicle, a cube of gold. And a lot of miners used to, or prospectors used to think they found gold when they saw this. But this is actually an iron type crystal called pyrite. And it's come to be known as fool's gold. But it's formed in the ground, usually among rocks. This is a limestone rock it's embedded in. And he explained it to me, but you can look this stuff up. It's remarkable, isn't it? This is a, a mysterious cube. Look at it. It's inorganic. It has order. And as Eric explains in his letter, it's just impossible without a creator to design it. N-A-T-U-R-E did not do this. There is no entity named that. Anyway, we just say that, well, the forest is a creation. It's a living, orderly design. And I call it Yahuwah's design, designed environment. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't have a consciousness of itself, but he created it. Anyway, this is the letter. Oh, we also, I wanted to send you this. Let's show you this. Look at this. What? Snow crystals? It's a little book. It's not a little book, really. It's loaded. This thing. Is, look at it. Each one, there's no two snowflakes that are the same. They're all like hexagons. A lot of people are afraid of hexagons. You who have made a lot of them. They're in plant structures and inorganic matter like snowflakes are falling out of the sky one person said it's like the cloud just started breaking off and falling down in these little snowflakes you know drifting to the ground um, oh I think that was a, a friend of ours named Jenny that said that or Lilia we talked to them a lot on the tele look at that huh anyway there's paint this is a thick book. And I guess you can color these in with various colors. Some of these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. 
And Eric's going to tell us about this book. And he's going to tell us about this pyrite. I've never seen this in my, in my life. I bet none of you all have ever held this either. At least not this one. But look at this. This letter is remarkable. See if it speaks to you. Dear Brother Lou and Sister Phyllis, now we take no credit for what, what he learned through us. We're just messengers or ambassadors. But Yahushua opened this man's heart and taught him something. He says, I carry this rock and snowflake book on the bus to show the passenger next to me and ask them to tell me how this could be. Since these things are both inorganic, evolution is out of the question. How can perfect order come from random chaos? Kinetic mass can only further disintegrate itself. Now, kinetic mass is, the, the word kinetic means in motion. So it's mass in motion can only further disintegrate itself and target, and the target it hits on impact. It puts nothing together. You've all heard about the jet plane that flew out of the junkyard, <laughs> fully gassed and crew on board and everything and said, how'd that happen? Well, it isn't, but uh, it isn't happening. Anyway, it puts nothing together, especially not in mathematical order. Of course, they can't explain. So I say, it's our creator, of course. His name is Yahuwah, a sharp golden metal cube that grows in the dirt. And ice laced designs with infinite variations on a theme of threefold rotational symmetry. Why aren't these formless blobs? Only Yahuwah. But you know this. He's saying to me and Phyllis that we know this. And he's right. I know that. I send them to us to share my wonder and excitement and to thank you. They can't compare with the gift that you've given to me. You gave light and understanding to me, Brother Lou and Sister Phyllis. I love you because I know you by your fruit. It took tragedy to show me that Christianity was full-blown hoax, a most cruel and pernicious lie. The Messiah is not there. Devastated by the question, no, devastated by the deception, and sick at heart, no spark of hope, in free fall since 2008 when I awoke suddenly yelling out I know you are there please forgive me please help me I don't know what to do from that moment he set stepping stones along my way until I understood two years ago and I was immersed calling on the name of Yahusha. I don't know other Nazarim in my area and I hunger for fellowship. My name is Eric and I live in Grand Junction, Colorado. And he asked me to share his email with anyone that wanted to talk with him. I just wanted to let you all know that it really matters. His name and his word are the highest of all things. This is Lou. Visit our channel on YouTube. Thank you.